This is amazing. Now we have another AI music generation tool from Stanford University. It is an anticipatory music transformer and let's hear this music. This is completely generated by AI. Let's hear one more. The main advantage is that it is multi-track in MIDI format. So you are able to modify every single note and all the instruments are separately recorded. Same like text prediction for a large language model. This is next event prediction. That is next note prediction. They have released in three different sizes. One is music large 800K, music medium 800K and music small 800K. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about AI music generation. Now we are seeing many AI research in regards to generating music. We can see some example here. For example, if we give a melody input, it will give an accompaniment with melody as output. If we give a beginning and ending of the music, then it will bridge the gap. If we provide chords and drums for a music, this can automatically create melody and bass line for us. Here is one example where we are providing a melody as you can hear here now. So now the AI is going to add accompaniment and let's hear that. Similarly, we can extend an existing music. For example, if we provide a music like this, which is terminating here, then the revision will be like, it can extend that further. Here is another example where we provide a melody. Now let's add accompaniment. The accompaniment is generated by AI. All these extra layers, extra music is created by AI. This is exciting. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to create this music and how to use this tool. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. We have a dedicated repository for music generation. So we are going to use this. So I'm going to use virtual machine provided by Master Compute. Just enter Mervin Prison to get a 50% discount. So first step, conda create hyphen in anticipation python equals 3.11 and then click enter. Next, conda activate anticipation and then click enter. Next step, git clone and the path to the repo and then click enter. Next, navigate to the anticipation folder and then click enter. Now pip install hyphen r requirements.txt and then click enter. I'll put all the information on the code in the description below. Next, I'm also going to install rich just to print in a clear format, but this is not required. Now let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. In this, we are going to see how to configure, how to compose music and how to extend music. So first step, configuration. We're going to import SysTime, MIDI2 Audio, Transformers, Auto Model for Coastal LLM, Ops from Anticipation, Generate, Extra Instruments, Events to MIDI, Visualize to Visualize, then Config, Vocab, and finally, Print from Rich. Next, we are going to define the model so we've got three models. One is small, medium and large. So in this case, I'm going to use the small model because that's quicker for this tutorial. Next, setting up a MIDI synthesizer. This is used to convert from MIDI to MP3. So you might need to download this module from here. I'll put this link in the description below. So you need to download this file and place it in the same folder with this name, fluid r 3 underscore gm dot sf2. Once that is done, Let's continue code. You're going to define a function called synthesize. In this, we are going to convert the provided MIDI file to WAV file. This is optional because if you're going to use MIDI file directly in your computer, then you don't need this. But if you want to hear the music, as soon as it gets generated, then you can use this. So the second step is to compose music. So we have completed the step of configuration. So I'm going to define the length 10 seconds. And here the compose music equals generate. That's the main function that is going to generate music, providing the model, start time, end time 10, 
and top P. Now you can call the synthesize function. So that will convert the composed music to wave file and save in this location, tmp.wav. Next, we are going to save the MIDI file using mid.save. And finally, we are going to visualize how the notes are going to look like. That's it. So literally, we have configured with the model name, add a synthesizer to convert to WAV format. And we asked the model to generate the music. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, python app.py, and then click enter. Now it's downloading the model and loading it. Now the audio got generated and we have the WAV format and MIDI format saved. This is the saved image for our reference. So this image shows the notes with different instruments. Now we are going to download this and hear how the music is. And here is the composed music I'm going to play. Let's try generating one more time. Python app.py. Now going to open the MIDI file. Like this, you can try generating again and again and see how it's coming. Next, we are going to extend this music. So this is the music. Now we're going to extend it. So step number three, extending the existing music. So I'm going to load the music. It's in the examples folder. Next, going to clip the audio because this is a long music. I'm going to give only the first 10 seconds. So the first 10 seconds, I'm going to give that as a prompt. So here I'm going to extract the melody for control inputs. This is optional, but there are many options which you can try to change the type of music you are getting. So I'm going to extract the first five seconds, length equals five, and then clipping it to only five seconds. Next, going to choose the number of seconds I want the music to be extended. That is 20. Next, providing the nucleus sampling probability. Now let's extend the music by using the generate function and providing the model. Here I'm providing this length. The length is the time that I want the large language model to generate the music. So I'm going to give the first five seconds from this music and it's going to generate from five seconds up to 20 seconds. That is length plus n. Then providing the prompt. Prompt is the first five seconds which we clipped. We are providing the melody as controls and top beat. Now setting offset so that you can cut the first five seconds if you want to. So we are clipping the first five seconds if you required. But here I'm mentioning only zero. That means it's not going to clip. But just for you to try, I'm just keeping the code as it is. Next, we are using synthesize function to convert MIDI to WAV format. Next, we are going to visualize how the notes are going to look like for the prompt and also for the extended music. We are going to get instruments so we can see the number of layers for the extended track. Finally, we're going to save the music using mid.save, both prompt and the extended music. Mid.save, extended music, that's it. So as a quick overview, we took a music, we clipped that to five seconds, then we used that as a prompt. We created a control input from the original clipped version. Next, we are passing those things into generate.model to generate the music. We are visualizing the music and we are saving the music. That's it. Now I'm going to run this code, python app.py and then click enter. Now it is ready. You can see the instruments. Each number represent each instrument. This tool even have the capability to remove any layers directly if you want. Now we are going to test the extended music. So this is the prompt.png image which we gave. That is the prompt music, first five seconds. And this is the output or the extended music. After five seconds, how it is going to be. And here is the extended music. five seconds. That is the extended version. I'm really excited about this. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.